and I'm going to show you that this is the cold start switch. Right? This controls the fifth injector over here. This controls that fifth injector. There you go. Right there. So I'm going to plug this back in. All right. Now let's focus in on that uh, fifth start injector. Okay, as you can see on a fish dart injector, there's another power plug right there. Okay, now what you want to do to test to see if your injector is getting power is you want to hook a test light between the two sockets. One will go there, and your grounding wire will go to the other prong. That makes sense to everyone? So your other prong, right? like so. Now, you'll either need a starter uh, button for outside in the car or you'll have to have a friend. The idea is to crank the car over for about 10 to 15 seconds and see if that light lights up. If your test light lights up and then slowly begins to dim, that means your cold start injector is working or is getting power anyway. That means that the cold start switch is doing its job and the wiring going to the injector is good the light should dim down. If it doesn't, it's possible that your cold start injector is working, but that the switch itself is not. If you're getting no power going to that, that could very well mean that something's going on there. So I'd recommend trying to replace the, uh, the switch, the cold start switch, right there. Okay. Now if you are getting power and it slowly dims down here at the uh, cold start valve, but it's not causing that valve to open, or at least you suspect, you've got two choices. Pull the injector off the car. It's got two hex bolts right there. Pull it off, but don't take the fuel line off. And again, with the engine cold, crank the car over with that thing sitting into a glass jar and see if fuel sprays out of it and slowly tapers off. If it is, if it does, hey, the cold start injector is working. If it doesn't, then this valve, is this injector, has either gone bad, it's, it's probably gummed up inside, it's no good anymore. You'll have to replace that. Now here's another set of problems we'll get into. What happens if the cold start valve jams open? Let's go back to the shop and I'll talk about it some. Alright, we're back here in the shop. Now, as I was saying, you've just figured out how to test your cold start injector for proper operation. Your switch will either send the ground to the sensor, thereby allowing the circuit to complete, or it won't. If it doesn't, you know your switch is bad. If it does, and no fuel sprays out of the cold start injector, you know your cold start injector is bad. Great, right? Well, but here's another scenario. The system either works or doesn't, irregardless. But at some point, that cold start injector opened, and a piece of trash, rust, soot, whatever, something out of the trash in the gas tank of your car or out of the pumps at the uh, gas station you filled it up with, jams in that injector, thereby allowing it to stay open. The symptoms would be flooding, hesitation, poor drivability basically. If you can keep the car running at all, you're going to be pouring a lot of fuel that you don't need into that engine. How do you fix that? Well, there's only one way. You replace it. You can try cleaning them, but they're plastic and electronic solenoids inside. So if you drop it into a can of Arsol or other hardcore solvent, uh, you're liable to destroy the sensor even further, or the injector even worse than it is already was. Replace it. Uh, again, you can test it. You can jump power that injector and see when you turn over the car, if gas is spraying out of it, even when it's hot out, you know you've got a problem. Anyway, that concludes the cold start injector diagnostics. Next. We'll take a look at the control pressure regulator, which is a very simple uh, object. It's either going to work or it's not. Without a fuel pressure gauge set, which I don't have here at the shop, uh, we're not going to be able to go into actual flow rates. But uh, you'll know if it's running properly, the car will run properly. If it's not, it's something to suspect. Join me for control pressure regulator next here on Rusty Rabbit Do-It-Yourself Service Network.